Trisha and welcome to my channel. So I'm continuing my beach themed decor and today I am doing these two candles. They're super easy. They're actually kind of fun to create. So I'm going to show you what I did to put them together. So let's get to crafting. All right, so first please excuse all the background noise. It is super hot, so I've got the fan on, my birds are singing, and there's a TV going on way in the background. But you'll be hearing that, but I'll try to get through this as quick as I can. So to make this craft, it's super easy. You're just gonna grab some candles, and you can grab any candles that you wanna use, whether they're, you know, battery operated ones, or if you wanna use the actual burning wick ones, that's up to you. I'm never going to light these up. They're just going to be decorations. So you might want to keep that in mind as well if you're going to be adding some decor to them. Anyway, I got mine at Hobby Lobby. They were $5.99 for both of them. So I thought that was a really good deal. All right, so to follow the beach inspired theme that I'm going to be using, I grabbed this scrap paper. It is sand. You can tell on there by looking at the paper. Uh, of course, you could use whatever you want. You could use burlap or some other fabric or any other paper, whatever your uh, decor, or you could just leave this out. Maybe even choose to use some tissue paper instead of scrapbook paper. So I just want some of it for about this part, not even half. I just want a little bit, maybe a third of it. So I need to cut some strips, but I was thinking that I would just kind of like, just cut them off kind of, you know, roughly like that you know, kind of like in a little bit of a curve look to so give it a sandy look. And then I'll use the straight edge along the bottom like that. That looks pretty good. And I'll just trim it uh, once I get where, you know, they'll meet. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing this on and whatever I do to one candle, I'm gonna do to the other. All right, so to glue it on, I'm gonna be using Mod Podge and I am using a gloss. You don't have to use a gloss but I kind of want everything to have that little bit of a glossy finish and I'm gonna be using some glitter, so I'll use this one. Okay, so I'm gonna start by just smearing on or brushing on some of that Mod Podge. Let's use this end here and I'm gonna align it along the bottom, the straight edge. There we go, like that. And let me get that little edge in here. Get that sealed down really well. I am gonna go ahead and put Mod Podge on the top. So for now, I'm just gonna put it on the bottom. I just did that little edge just to get that down. And this is super easy. It's best to add it as you go rather than, you know, putting it all the way around because then you're gonna get your fingers all over. Even though, I mean, you're still gonna get Mod Podge on your fingers. But you know, this is a little bit less messy. Okay, let's do that. Now you don't have to have this little raw edge. Of course, you can cut it with your scissors. I had them there already, just in case I changed my mind. I wanna make sure that I get all up on the edges. So get it a little bit higher than what you think. And here's where it meets up, so I'm just going to cut it right there. Now there's a little discrepancy in heights right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift this one up and just cut off a little bit of that. There we go, just like that. And then just seal the other end down. And now I'm gonna seal the whole thing just because I want that glossy finish. And I'm gonna add another substance to this right now. So while that's still wet, I can take some glitter. Now I've got this little bit of a sand. It's a little bit glittery. Um, I don't remember where I got these from. I may have got them at Hobby Lobby. But here we go, just some little sand and it's a little bit glittery. Of course, you use whatever you want. Uh, this is going with my theme. So I'm gonna take that. Let's get another little plate. Right here, nice big one. And just to make sure that I did Mod Podge everything and because I do have a fan on, this could dry really quickly because I did put it on rather thinly. And I just want to get it on the really the paper. If some of it gets up a little bit higher, that's fine. I don't mind it. But of course, just put the glue wherever you're going to uh, want whatever glitter. Okay, so I'm just gonna sprinkle it lightly because I don't want it to be too thick. Otherwise, what was the purpose of putting that paper? I'm just gonna hide it. But I do want some texture. 
So that's why I'm adding this. So then we're gonna let that dry. Look at that, I don't know if you can tell that's there. I'm gonna let that dry because I do wanna add a different glitter and I don't want it to get stuck down here. So I'm gonna let that dry first and then we'll be back. All right, so I've done both candles with the little scrapbook paper and then I've sprinkled on some of that glittery sand. I do remember I got them at Hobby Lobby now, uh, but I don't recall how much they were. Uh, but that got this one and a white. All right, so now after I put this tan sand look, you know, looking glitter, I'm gonna go ahead and add some blue. So I've got another glitter here, and this is just the color that I've chosen. Of course, you'll, you'll do yours, whatever colors you want. So I've added a little bit of this darker one in there and then a little bit of this kind of a mix, which was a the same blue with some white. So I'm just gonna mix them up a little bit. Pull those aside and just get those down to here. This is just a little mix of a couple of different blues and a little bit of white. Okay. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of that going up a little higher just to give it another tone or another color. And you can just go as high as you want. This is what I'm saying. These are gonna be decorative. I'm never gonna light these up. These are just for decoration. Okay, so now that I've added some of the uh, Mod Podge or, you know, a little bit of white glue. Elmer's glue is fine. Just, you could add a little bit of water to water it down. Uh, okay, so now I'm gonna sprinkle some of this blue in that area, and I don't mind it falling on the areas with the tan. And I'll just add as much as I want. And I'm really liking the effect. Look at that. All right, so again, whatever I do to this one, I'll do to my other candle. All right, so this is what they're looking like. And I'm gonna go ahead now and uh, let that dry again. And then I'm gonna use one more glitter and then I'll seal the whole thing with Mod Podge. All right, so now I'm gonna use this other one. It is a kind of a coarser type of sand, almost like tiny little pe pebbles or salt. And it does have a little bit of glitter to it. I'm gonna try putting some of that on there. I don't know how it's gonna look, but I'm gonna try it. And I just wanna put just a little bit kind of like on the edge of the blue between the blue and the that sandy tone just put some glue like that or Mod Podge sprinkle some of that on there and then what I'll do is I'll just go around and add that I just want to add that little texture and it's not much it's just a little touch but you know in the end when we're looking at our candle it's gonna look pretty all right, so I'm gonna finish that off and then I'll do it to the other candle, of course, and then I will let these dry. And like I said, I'm gonna go over everything with more of that Mod Podge. So I'll just skip showing you that step, but basically all I'm gonna do is just brush on over everything, make sure everything is nicely sealed. All right, so here now I have my two candles and they're pretty much done. So this would be the look and I've gone ahead and also uh, rubbed up some of these little white uh, pebbly bits because I felt like it was just a little too much. So I did remove some. There's some spots here where uh, the Mod Podge still needs to dry, but this is what it looks like once it's dry right here, as you can see on this side. And I'm just looking for the seam. This is the seam where I, uh, the end of the paper is. So I'm just gonna keep that to the back. I have the same one over here with the seam to the back. So you're looking at the fronts of the candles. Some little bits there. Okay, so now they are done. Pretty much, you could just leave them like that, but I'm gonna go ahead and embellish them some more. And so I've got some of this um, twine that I want to wrap around and then kind of tie it up in the front. And then I bought this uh, package also in Hobby Lobby of these um, shells, little tiny little little shells. So I'm going to use some of these to hang off the rope. So I don't need that much, but I mean, I love the uh, packaging or the amount in the packaging to use for some other crafts. So I went ahead and I purchased this and I'm just going to dump out a few just so I can see what I have in here and then choose from that. And this is what the little shells look like. All right, so let me move one of these aside because again, whatever I do to one of these, I will do to the other. Okay, so I just want to take my rope. Again, this is my seam on my paper, so I want that in the back. And I'm just gonna leave a length of uh, rope. I don't know how much, so, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave about 
I don't know, eight inches uh, free like that. And I'm just gonna place this right here and then bring this around. And I wanna go under the uh, little white pebbles, but you know, place it wherever you like on your candle. So I'm just wrapping around, making sure I'm capturing this, this one here under the rope and I did and just wrap it however many times and I think that's good enough so I'm going to leave another length about that long I can trim it off later okay about that long okay so now I can take these two ends and knot them and just to make sure that every let me just make sure this is the front that's the back i'm going to add a little bit of hot glue in there just to make sure that it doesn't move around on me make a little knot you can make a little you know like a little bow here if you prefer you do that but i think i just like the the knot so i'm just gonna go ahead and do a little bit more just to give it more volume here I think that's good enough and see now I can see what length and I can now cut it to where I want it obviously I don't want it hanging lower than the candle but I want it high enough so that when I do put some little uh, shells on there uh, they won't be hitting the, the bottom so I'm gonna cut about well you know what I'm going to do a little knot and about this length right here. About where I want my little shell to be. And I'm just doing that because I want there to be a good surface where I can glue the little shell. You don't have to do this. Okay, so I'll do it to the other little end here. I go a little bit higher. Cut this one a little bit shorter. Obviously, if you wrap this, if you choose a different design and you decide to put your rope or whatever, you're using a ribbon or rope or even some yarn or um, what is macrame uh, uh, yarn is what I'm thinking. If you choose to use that, uh, your little strings can be even longer. Okay, and you can hang off either shells or a little bead or whatever you want. Okay, so now I can go ahead and trim this and I kind of want to just dishevel the little ends here open them up like that see that that looks really cute if you do that okay let's do it to the other one just untwist here and then just spread up or spread open like that like this one as well that looks really nice cute all right so now we can go ahead and glue some little shells to that and i like the one that i had and i don't know where that went oh here it is it's right here off the side i like that one so just a little glue on the back and i'm just using my hot glue gun and glue it right where the little knot is or i don't know above it or right on top of it however, wherever you can place it just like that. And one more over here. Let's see. Let's do one of these long ones. A little glue there. And get it on there. Let's see. Let me see where this one's to face forward. There we go. Ta da! so now I'm just going to repeat the same process to this other candle. All right, everyone. So there we go. I've got my beach themed candles. I think they look really pretty. I love the colors. This is what they look like now, completely done. And they were super easy to create. It doesn't take very many things to put them together. Of course, you choose what you want to put on there and what you don't and what theme you want to do. I just thought this was really cute and uh, with some inexpensive candles, some inexpensive supplies and with some Mod Posh. And of course, these are gonna be decorative candles. I can't stress that enough. I would not light these up. I'm 
don't know what would happen if the uh, maybe the candle got down low enough to the uh, glitter or the rope here. So I'm going to keep these completely decorative. So just keep that in mind if you want to do something like this. All right, so these are done. I love them. So I'm going to give myself a big old thumbs up. And I hope that you too will give me a big old thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please hit the red subscribe button down below. And please leave a kind comment. Also, let me know what you think of my candles. I can't wait to then now decorate my living room and show you what that will look like. I have a couple more items that I want to put together. So those videos will be following uh, pretty soon this coming week. Thank you all so very much for watching. And as always, enjoy.